Hello and welcome to another weekly news show here at SCSU TV. I'm Gabby Maupin. And I'm Dennis DeBrante. Today we will cover flu prevention, President Papazian's open dialogue, sports, and more. Attention Southern students, the flu season has arrived. Students looking to protect themselves can now get a flu shot at health services by setting up an appointment. The cost for faculty and students is $15. Payments can be cash, hoot loot, or charged from a bursar account. For more information, visit the Granoff Student Health Center. The Office of Diversity and Equity sponsored a film screening and panel discussion to raise awareness on sexual assault in the military. Recent reports show that the rate of cases reported has increased by 50% since last year. The FACE organization is planning new ideas for their modeling show. Katie Krejcik caught up with the members at the auditions held last week. Fashionable, artistic, creative, elegance. That's FACE. For 11 years, they have been holding auditions for their fashion show in the spring. But this year, they decided to do things differently. Basically, we're just expanding more. We have two different branches of FACE. So before you could try out and, you know, it's possible you didn't make the team because it was just the one show. But now we're doing so much more. So there's FACE, the show, you can be a model on the show, or you can do FACE events. They're holding more events and working with more organizations on campus than ever before. This year we're doing multiple events. We've already had um, an event called Model Behavior where we talk about um, body image and having self-confidence and things like that. Um, we are working with the Sisters of Delta Phi Epsilon Sorority. We're putting on an event um, with eating disorders, facing disorders. Returning members are very excited for the new branch that has been added. Several RAs have already reached out to have FACE come in and help put on programs in their dorms. I felt the energy from the people who came and attended and um, actually tried out and auditioned. And it seemed like a lot of people were really excited. And I believe a lot of that came from a program we did last week with RARL in Farnham Hall. And we actually did a program on um, retail shopping and how, you know, stores sell, you know, some plus size, not as much as, you know, regular, small, medium, and things like that. So we had discussions like that, and we also modeled for them. And at that program, a lot of people expressed their interest in FACE, and we were able to explain to them, you know, our initiatives and plans that we have for this year. Keep an eye out for FACE programs being held all year long, and make sure to not miss out on their fashion shows. One will be held the first week of December, and one will be held in the spring. Reporting for SCSU-TV, I'm Katie Krejcik. President Papazian will hold an open dialogue with students on Wednesday, November 5th at 1 p.m. in the Adante Student Center Ballroom. She encourages students to take the opportunity to hear from her and ask questions about the topics of interest to the student community. Remembering the fall of the Berlin Wall 25 years later will take place on November 10th in the Student Center Ballroom from 12 p.m. until 2 p.m. and will commemorate the Cold War. A panel discussion will take place and feature some professors and experts with their experiences. Students are urged to share their experiences as well. Special Academic Programs and Sessions has announced that registration for classes in the winter of 2015 will open on November 3rd. The courses are offering 40 online classes to help students with completing undergrad LEP, pre-recs, and core classes. For more information, visit the newly launched website. Check the link below. Now here is Trayvon Freeman with the latest updates on Southern sports. Thanks, Dennis. Women's and men's soccer have wrapped up their regular season schedules this past week. Both teams are in good standings and will move on to the NE10 tournament. Check out the SASU Athletics page for upcoming matchups. Coming off a 17-14 victory against Stonehill, Southern football will be back in action November 1st for Senior Day against LIU Post. The Owls will be honoring 11 seniors as they play their last home game. Kickoff is set for noon. Men's basketball played in their annual blue and white scrimmage game on October 29th. Our own Drew Lamar Ortiz was there with the coverage. It was Coach Mike versus Coach Mack. The SCSU men's basketball team kicked off their 2014 season with a blue and white scrimmage on Tuesday night. Assistant coach Mike Makubika led the blue team to win 114 to 108. However, the day before the game, head coach Mike Donnelly said he wasn't going to focus too much on the score. He was, however, going to use the game to get the guys comfortable playing in a game-like setting. Um, evaluating in practice is one thing, but evaluating these guys 
in stressful situations, game-like situations, is more beneficial for the coaching staff. Makubika said that the players' intensity level did drop at one point during the game. They weren't playing up to our full potential. Called a timeout, got these guys to the bench, got them playing together. Our intensity level rose to the, to the level that we wanted to get to, and uh, we started to play well. Junior Deshaun Murphy said that he thought overall the team played well, but there were some things they could work on. We got a lot of firepower, and we got a lot of guys that are aggressive, a lot of guys that are going to fight, you're not going to give up, and they're going to play to the end. Um, what I think our team could work on is just trying to off the ball, you know, just screen a little bit more for each other and just try just to look for the next uh, open guy just a little bit more, and I think we'll be good. The Owls returned to the court with all but one player from last year's Eastern Division Championship team and a new recruit, Desmond Williams. The junior guard said that the team did meet his high expectations in the scrimmage. I was playing the number two team in the country, so I mean, it's, it's only going to get easier from here. So, I mean, it was good. Um, it was hard. It was physical. It was a lot physical than I thought, but it was good. Junior Stefan Williams says that the players have one goal on their mind. We're just still hungry. Like, our motto this year is, like, finish. So, we're just trying to finish and win a national championship. Southern will play UConn in an exhibition game next Tuesday night at Gamble Pavilion. Reporting for SCSU TV, I'm Julie Mar Ortiz. The Owls will face UConn in an exhibition matchup on November 4th. And the National Guard Athletes of the Week are Karen DiBiase from the women's soccer team and Brian Wilcox from the football team. That's all we have for sports today. See you next week with more updates. Thanks, Trey, and thank you for watching. I'm Gabby Maupin. And I'm Dennis Sperante. For more updates, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, or watch us on Channel 919. See you next week.